checking out the next guest over here. I'm checking in. Here's my ID. Welcome in, Miss Clark. Alrighty, I see that you're staying with us for five nights, and I do see that you are one of our highest elite rewards members, so thank you so much for your loyalty. Now, I do have a question for you. Yes, absolutely. I was looking at my reservation online. I saw that it hadn't been upgraded, and I was wondering why that was. Oh, I do apologize, but unfortunately, we don't have any upgrades available for your stay. But here's the thing, when I look right now, I actually see that you have a suite available for tonight. Now, you do understand that it is part of the privilege of being an elite member that I should get any available upgrades, right? Yeah, so we do have suites available for the next couple nights, but unfortunately, during your stay, we do sell out of suites, so that's why we couldn't upgrade you. I see. Hmm. Well, how about this? Upgrade me for the next couple nights since you do have the suites available and then I'll just move rooms. Well, unfortunately, management has made it a policy that we don't book guests into a room that they're going to have to move out of partway through their stay. I've never heard of that before. So why don't you just go and you ask your manager if that's something you can do for me? Well, I can go ask for you, but I'm afraid it is management's own policy. I'd still prefer you ask them. Hey, I will go ask the manager. Hey, manager. Hey, Josh, what's up? We have this super high elite guest, Miss Clark. She really wants a suite upgrade, but she's with us for five nights. And on the third night, we're sold out of suites. So I've told her that we can't give her the upgrade, but now she's demanding to stay in the suite for two nights. And then she says she'll move. But I know we've had problems with guests promising that and then not moving in the past. So I told her that it was management policy that we don't check her into a room that we know we're gonna have to move her out of, but she wanted me to come back and ask you. So uh, let me take a look. Oh, Miss Clark. Yeah, no, she's a super, super elite member. Um, You should go ahead and put her in the room. You sure? Cause I have no problem going back out there and telling her that you said no. Your job and it's my job to make these super elite members happy, okay? That's all that the company wants. So just put her in the room for a couple days and then we'll move her. Okay, but what happens if in a couple days she refuses to move out of the room? She's the one that proposed the idea to move after a couple days and I'm sure she'll move. It'll be fine. You're putting a lot of trust in this guest. Um, okay, well, then I will go ahead and I will put her in a suite for the next couple nights and I'm going to put on the comments that you approved this. Sure, okay, leave whatever notes you want. Just go take care of the guest. Okay. Okay, ma'am, so I have spoken to the manager and as a one-time courtesy, they did agree to go ahead and upgrade you to a suite for the first couple nights of your stay. But then after that second night, we are going to have to ask you to move to the standard room that you originally booked. Ah, oh, great, see, I know you could do it. And just wondering, if someone happens to cancel their suite, I can stay in it, right? Yes, if a guest ends up canceling their suite reservation in a couple days, then we can go ahead and keep you in the suite. But if that does not happen, then we are going to have to ask you to move. That's fine, that's fine. I totally get it. No problem, I'll, I'll totally move. Okay, I'll go ahead and get you all checked in. This couldn't possibly go wrong. Clark, this is Jessica calling from the front desk again to let you know that unfortunately we didn't have any suite cancellations. So we are going to have to ask you to move today from your suite into the standard room that you originally booked. Our staff will be more than happy to help you move your bags to the new room. So please just call us and let us know when you're all packed so we can make that transition. Thank you, goodbye. Please tell me you've gotten a hold of Miss Clark already. She needs to be out of that room. It's almost check-in time. I just left another voicemail on her phone, but housekeeping says that the room has been dead bolted since 9 a.m., so I don't think she has any intention of leaving. I don't know why you gave her that room when we were sold out on suites today. You said- Would someone here care to tell me why we are still oversold on a suite tonight? I'm so sorry, Jessica here gave a guest who was staying for five nights an upgrade. Excuse me. General Manager, if you take a look at this woman's reservation, you will see that in the notes, I commented that this was approved by the manager. I brought this to her and I told her that it wasn't a good idea. She approved it anyway because of the guest status. <sighs> and I will be having discussion about this decision later, but for now, we need to figure out what we're going to do about this guest who refuses to leave the suite. 
is not going to move because she thinks she's entitled to this upgrade. Well, if she's this high rewards member, we can't kick her out of the room because then she's just going to go running up to corporate and it's going to be a she said, we said, where she's going to insist that we promised she could have the suite. So we're just going to have to downgrade someone who paid for a suite today. Oh, I am not breaking that news to the guest who comes in here expecting the suite that they paid for. The manager can be the one to do that because they're going to be asking for them anyway. I think that is more than fair. What? Ugh. <sighs>